If you've ever seen Alyssa McKaig, chances are she was probably running. You just run basically not 365 days a year, but probably about 330 out of the 365 days a year the last two years. And uh, she's just highly motivated and it's all it just all comes from within. The determination of McKaig has carried her through an unbeaten year so far in girls cross country. And now she and her teammates prepare for their trip to the state finals in Bloomington on Saturday. She's the, the best I've ever worked with in terms of wanting to just has to meet every goal time. You know, never, I, I can't remember ever a workout or a meet where she hasn't hit her time or, you know, been right close to it. If it's a you know, bad weather day, she still wants to hit it. Those good times have obviously been getting lower for McKaig because she's had quite a postseason. In sectionals, she finished 44 seconds in front of everyone on a rainy day. She shattered the course record by 19 seconds in regionals. And then last weekend at Semi State, she put up her fastest time ever at 13 minutes and 56 seconds. That's the goal, you know, just to make sure that I'm on those times. And it's just a lot against yourself. Make sure I do the best that I feel I can do that day. The senior's toughest task now awaits her on Saturday. Alyssa is one of three runners favored to win the individual state title. The other two, defending state champion Katie Harrington of Carmel and Columbus North runner Julie Eckerly, who finished third in last year's state meet. McKaig finished just 15th in the finals a year ago, but in the two times that they have met this season, McKaig has beaten Harrington, causing many to think it would be a surprise if she didn't do it again. I, I think I would be surprised. I think that if she follows the race plan, uh, which I know she will, and, and uh, un unless somebody's been hiding something all year, <laughs> I, I, I really think that this is going to be her day. I mean, it would be disappointing, but I don't know that it would necessarily be a surprise. I mean, I'm not really thinking of I'm definitely going to win, you know, just because I don't think that's really a good way to think about it. Tommy Shegler, 21 Alive Sports.